Hey guys, Hellraiser here. Today I'm going to do something a little different. You know, normally I'll show you my portables, or I'll show you some pinball machines, or arcade machines, or maybe even an arcade. Today I'm going to do something a tiny bit different. I'm going to talk about car audio. Now first, a little bit of background. When I was around 13, 14 years old, me and my brother went down to a radio shack. I know, old days. But we went down to a radio shack, and the guy took us outside, and in the back of his car he had four eight-inch kickers, and it blew us away. After that, me and my brother were hooked. We had to, to have car audio in my brother's truck and then eventually in my vehicles. And what we started doing, we started building boxes and installing amplifiers and sound systems for people in our neighborhood. A lot of times we just do it for free just to get the experience. And then I got married, and when I first got married, I didn't have children, and so I, the back of my Suzu Rodeo, at one time I had six 12-inch speakers, and about a thousand watts of amps. And it, it was pretty loud. Well, I had children. Well, my wife had the children. We had children together. And after we had children, um, I decided, you know, a lot of bass was probably not a good idea. So I kind of scaled back. The most I ever had was 112, and I kept the volume real low on it. Well, let's fast forward now. Several, several, several years later, I live in Panama, the country of Panama right now in Boquete. I'm sitting here one day looking for something to do because I'm retired and I, and I need a hobby. So I thought, I wonder what car audio has been up to. And I had not looked at car audio in over 20 years. So I got online started doing some research and I was pretty amazed that the amplifiers had gone from a thousand watt amp being this big to a thousand watt amp being this big. And I said, you know, the prices are good. I think I want to start looking into this. So what I decided to do was start off small, kind of work my way back into it. So what I'm going to do is show you my small it's about a $350 to $400 setup. And then I'll tell you afterwards what I'm going to do later and make it bigger. So I'll show you right now what I've got. Okay, so what we're looking at here is two audio pipe TSPP3 12D4. These are dual voice coil, triple stack, 105 ounce magnets. They are rated at 800 watts RMS and 1600 watts peak. Now, I got these brand new from a guy here on Facebook Marketplace, a Panamanian, and he sold them to me for $50 a piece. <clears throat> so, a pretty good deal. And then I had a guy build me this box down at one of the car audio shops in David, and he built me this box for $75. And it's got, it's, I think it's ported and tuned to about, I want to say it's about 38. 38 hertz. So now, what am I running it with? Well, here's my amplifier. This is a Soundstream BXA1 7500D. Now, Hi-Fi Vector did a test on this, and it put out 1,540 watts into 1 ohm. And that's what I'm running it. I'm running it at 1 ohm. Now, power. What did I do? Well, we'll go up here to the front. And you'll see I'm running stock alternator right now, stock battery. I've got zero gauge wire running to the back to the amplifier. And you see it over here. Zero gauge ground, zero gauge power, 12 gauge to the speakers. So right now each speaker is getting 750 watts. So let's close it up and see what she can do. We're running factory. Everything's factory, mids, highs, factory stereo. I've got it, I got the bass knob there, the Soundstream bass knob. I've got an ESS SPL meter that goes to an app on my phone, which I'll be showing you. So here we go. I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so here's the app. You hook up via Bluetooth. Now we're hooked up.
138.91 and it's averaging 46 hertz not too bad so turn this off open the door so where do we go from here okay so the plan from this point on so the plan is I'm gonna vent eventually upgrade the alternator we have a 390 amp alternator coming in I'm gonna use two lithium batteries i think they're going to be um oh, i want to say 100 amp hour lithium batteries and then i'm also going to upgrade in panama it's a little more difficult to get speakers but there's a company here that actually um owned operated everything's built here in panama and it's called neo dynamics and a lot of people haven't heard of them, of them yet but they make some very good speakers i bought four of their 12 inch that are rated at 3000 watts each and then i also have two um different amps i have a soundstream 10,000 watt amp that's been dynoed at 6,000 watts into one ohm and then i have coming in a ds18 5k1 which has been dynoed at 5400 um watts into one ohm so i'm going to try both of those and and put those on the speakers maybe put one on um two 12s or i might just put all four 12s on each one um, and then I've got a box being built that's going to be in the back facing up. And so that'll, that'll be the, um, the base. And hopefully I'm, I'm hoping to hit around, you know, 148 or so. And then I've also got, um, Rockford Fosgate mids and highs and a Rockford Fosgate amp. I've got two different amps. I've got a Rockford Fosgate 125 by four for the mids and highs. And I've also got a kicker that's rated at 200 by four. So I'll decide at which, well, you know, at that point, which one I want to put in, which one sounds better. But that's the plans. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. Um, there'll be some more car audio videos in the future. If you like what you saw, subscribe. Also, thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.